Hello everyone, welcome to Bull Market Watch, our channel on Patreon. Thank you very much for being part of Bull Market Watch on Patreon. And for those of you who are watching this video on YouTube, Patreon, uh, uh, on Patreon I have a channel called Bull Market Watch. The videos from that channel will be on YouTube at a much later time. So if you want to always, uh, uh, if you want to join the channel on Patreon, then you, uh, sign up through the link in the description below. So, so we're going to talk about solid EV player. Long-term growth, this is a solid EV stock. It is a long-term growth stock. It is great stock, and it's on a rare discount right now. All right, sounds good. I'm going to talk about BYD, but I know what you can say. Mike, BYD, it's a, you know, it's not, you know, not so it's not so much on a discount it is i'll show you how uh, so byd is a chinese eve maker that's backed by billionaire investor warren buffett the company has proven that it knows how to capitalize on opportunities as they arise you know what i was kind of when i heard about warren buffett being in byd i think it was last year i don't i don't remember if he got into byd last year i think he got into it before that uh but i heard about it last year and I was wondering, why would he do that? Ah, the guy's old. He's getting old. Uh, there's Neo. There's all these other things. Why? Why? It makes sense. Um, actually, he's very smart. Well, he was smart. I, he didn't, I didn't need to. You know, you get the point. He didn't, you know, anyways, he's a very smart guy. Uh, it makes sense why he went with BYD. Now I see what he, why, what he was looking at. And BYD is way, 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 way better than Neo. Way better. Uh, you will see. So... BYD is a Chinese EV maker that's backed by billionaire Warren Buffett. The company has proven that it knows how to capitalize on opportunities as they arise. It saw an opportunity in electric in electric vehicles amid the push to curb climate change and jumped on it. Uh, BYD also diversified into making face masks when the COVID-19 pandemic started. In fact, California ordered $1 billion worth of N95 masks from BYD. When we're talking about BYD, don't think of BYD just for cars. Don't say, well, it, you know what, if I'm going to buy an EV company, why would I buy BYD? BYD is more than just automobiles. They're a very well-established, diversified company offering different, many, many different types of products that I will show you, which makes them way better than owning, than owning just Neo or, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, so Buffett owns 25% stake in BYD. 25% is not little. If he owns 25% stake in BYD, he saw something special. Uh, Buffett first took a 10% stake in BYD in 2008, back in 2008, which was the same year that Tesla unveiled its Roadster electric vehicle. Buffett appears to think that BYD has brighter prospects than rival Tesla. Yeah, it does. And you know what? Even Elon Musk, at some point, it was rumored that he wanted to sell Tesla. Uh, that, those were the rumors. I mean, Tesla is a great stock. I'm, no, I'm not saying it's not. But BYD is more, more solid, more diversified, and future-wise, it has more growth potential. Comparing BYD stock, here's what you can do. Uh, we're going to talk about how you can get it at a discount, which is BYDDF over-the-counter. Right? If you buy the H, H, letter H, if you buy the H shares of BYD over-the-counter, BYDDF is the ticker symbol, $24.98. And you know what? It moves exactly like the regular BYDDY, which is at $49.81. And which the BYDDY is the American Depository Shares. It's at nearly 50 bucks. But if you look at it, right? Look at the chart. Look at the one-year chart. And then look at the H shares. Same exact movement. You're not going to miss out on anything. As the company moves, so will this. All right? And then the uh, Shanghai... At 181.68, that's in the Chinese uh, currency. Again, the same exact movement. So what do you do? You go and you buy the H shares, $24.98. So comparing BYD stock, BYDDF versus BYDDY, when it comes to buying BYD stock, it can be a little confusing for people because they're thinking, you know, when they're looking it up, they see this, BYDDF, then they see BYDDY, and they're wondering what it is. It's just that the BYDDY, American Depository Shares, BYDDF, eight shares, who cares? You get this one, $24.98. And as the company progresses in its life, so will this, same exact way. All right, so what does it make? It makes buses, electric buses, uh, a ton of versions, not just this one you're seeing here on the left. 
different types of versions, uh, versions and sizes. E-bus and e-truck business potential are uh, for BYD are underrated by most observers. Wide product range means BYD is more than just one more fashionable EV company. They're not just an EV company, like I said in the beginning of the video. They do a ton of different things. International manufacturing marketing reach across full range of new en energy technology products give the company an advantage over competitors. Vertical integration gives the company key advantage of having sufficient battery cells and chips. Vertical integration, all right, this is very important. In fact, BYD is probably the world's most vertically integrated new energy technology and transportation company. That's very, very important. Very, very important that they're so vertically integrated. It makes them super solid company. They supplied 9,025 units last year in the country, making them the second largest bus supplier behind uh, Utah. Continuing strong demand from China is, uh, is, a, is for sure. The rest of the world is just starting to catch up with China, and BYD is at the forefront of international offerings. A recent report by Loop Ventures detailed the opportunities. They put the total global market for new vehicles at uh, US uh, in the US at 2.8 trillion dollars vans buses 770 775 billion dollars semis at 350 billion dollars passenger cars 1.6 uh, 1.7 trillion dollars BYD makes also uh this vehicles right here that you're looking at on the left I forget what they're called uh forklifts yeah BYD is a leader in e-buses and e-trucks a segment which comprises 40% of the vehicle market according to Loop Ventures this is a market with far fewer players today compared to the ever-swelling ranks of car manufacturers. EVs currently comprise about 3% of new vehicle sales globally. Loop reckon this will hit 50% by 2030. There is a huge potential disruption for buses and trucks through a focus of autonomy and software. They also make, let you see here on the left right here, they also make energy storage systems, energy storage systems systems tesla makes them too byd continues to announce a flurry of sales contracts and activity in its thriving global fully electric bus coach segment in addition december sales volumes for fully electric passenger vehicles were up two times 2.5 times meanwhile byd will continue to benefit from the chinese government three-year blue the, well, the, the chinese government had committed to a three-year blue sky action plan that heavily incentivized to uh, in incentivize uh, EV sales. Over the past three years, BYD stock has significantly lagged Tesla. However, note that over the past one year, it has given Tesla a run for its money. BYD's manufacturing plant in California, all right, so if you're thinking about, well, you know, they're doing all this in China, great company, they're producing all kinds of things, but by the time they get worldwide everywhere, you know what, whatever. In the U.S., they have a manufacturing plant in California. That manufacturing plant by BYD in California meets all of Biden's Buy America standards, right? Another potential risk is the possible delisting of Chinese stocks of U.S. Yeah, I put that. So there is a potential um, uh, uh, of Chinese stocks being delisted if they don't comply for the new accounting rules that the uh, SEC has put forth. I don't think that BYD, though, being the company that it is, having a manufacturing plant in China, having 25% of its stake owned by Warren Buffett would not comply. So I'm not really worried at all about BYD being delisted. I, I really am not worried about it. Uh, unless things get so bad between the two countries that they, you know, but by then you should know and have a chance to get out. Um uh, or keep your shares and they just get transferred to like the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. So they also make SkyRail, which is this one here. They also produce that. That's why I said they're very diversified. They're not just an EV car. I'm going to make a car and that's it. They're not like, you know, people are all over canoe or this stuff like in the long run, this is a smart investment. So basically, guys, that's it. Uh, really, uh, it is a company that is extremely well diversified very well diversified uh, offers all kinds of different products uh you can you know at 24 dollars 98 cents right now i think is the best uh this is one of the best opportunities one of the best stocks to get into right now and hold for the long term hold for a year 
you know, and all that. I'm not telling you guys to buy it. I'm, you know, you have to decide for yourselves. But presenting things to you guys, in my opinion, for me personally, and speaking for me, this is definitely a great stock to own. Um, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. I wish you guys all the best. Take care.